Okay guys, this is where I'm at right now. You know, it pays to have really good cutting soles because you can't get a fingernail either way. Everything went together beautifully. Both sides are the same. Okay. Now, I'm doing 15 subwoofers and they're pretty small. Uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I get them in and uh, be showing a video of those. But, uh, it's $150 maximum and that's what I spent so I actually got a, a 16th one uh, to play around I was gonna make another box to see which cubic foot could sound the best sealed and ported but unfortunately I just don't have enough time they're not even in yet they're not even shipped here yet and I still got to build this piece of shit so actually it's not a piece of shit it's not too bad every two inches apart is what I put them um, counter sunk down in there decently you only want to do a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. But, uh, so far, I'll show you my design, what I plan on doing. Alright. In my car right now, I've got a 45 coming down. So if I have to do that, I would have to cut, get my plunge saw, set everything up, and cut another, you know, section off of that. Which, it's not a big deal. Take out two, three screws, boom, not, nothing much. Now, this one here is 4.277 cubic foot. This is the ported section. And these things are so thin that I thought about actually putting another deck in here and have it like down here. But with 15 of them, I don't think I'm going to have enough area. Uh, they're real small. And they the schematics that they have online, there's two different kinds. And I don't trust either one of them. It says a half or uh, 0.43 or some shit like that, and they say sealed or ported. That's not correct. That's not how it goes. Um, usually it's half whenever you go from sealed to ported. It's usually half of that. You usually double it if it's sealed or whatnot. So I'm just going to go go off of my own shit here. But uh, this size, I, mean, I can make it bigger, so not a big deal. Um, I plan on hooking a face up on this one yet coming down see the problem is I got a wheel well this will fit on the wheel underneath the wheel well right up to the back of the seats and then it drops down so I want to utilize more space and that will probably be my sealed spot now I can put the face on there do the 45 and I can you know have it come out even a little bit more deeper and I can put the the subs out anywhere so I can actually make this a lot bigger for more area if I want to. If I want to use just regular 4.277 or I want to jump it up to 6 to 7, it doesn't matter. So I'll figure that out as time goes. I'm going to do some more uh, some more uh, mathematics on this shit and try to find a, the most effective way to make these things sound decent. i got a whole nother 4x8 sheet plus I've got that much left yet of just a single so I got more than enough to build this. And of course, I'm gonna be putting um, pieces right here, strengthen it up, because the longer it is, the more flex you're gonna get, box flex. And that's some of the issues I ran in with the 312s that I have in the car right now. This is basically the same design as I got, and I got the 312 RESE. And uh, I, I knew it was gonna box flex, and so I, I put uh, some braces right here and right here. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, unless I do the, I don't know, ported, whatever, and then just, I don't know. There's so many things I could do with this. It's, I'm just sort of going by the whim on this one, but uh, this will be going towards the seats, so I'm going to be putting a piece inside here yet. That's already ready. I just got to make, I got to cut the piece yet, and this part, I'll be, let's see if I get my fat ass in here, this part here. I'm going to be uh, building a fascia on it, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to come out a little bit more or what, but uh, it'll be exciting. I'm pretty sure I'll come out a little bit more because I got more area now that I came out of the wheel well, and I'll have come out maybe an inch or two, depending on how I'm going to do the subwoofers yet. I still don't even know. I didn't even do it. I just come out here and start messing around. And, it, and just say, you know, this this part here don't work. I don't care. I don't care. I just go get more wood. It's not a big deal. Um, I plan on using this later on anyhow. 
it's it's better built than the one I got in my car right now because the other one I did freehand I didn't have this thousand dollar saw system or a uh, grizzly drill press or anything like that so but this is where I'm at and this is going to be the L shape coming down and I don't know if I want to put the subs face in this way like I did with the other schematic or not see with this one I have the subs there's just right there and this is the sealed and that was the ported and it sounds really good you know surprisingly and uh the port i have going right up through my back windshield and uh going into the cab of the car sounds really clean there's no box vibration no trunk vibration so this is the same way i'm going to build this box is uh, almost identical as the one i got the three re's in and i will go from there i guess you have 15 inch little or 15 little subwoofers coming in i'm really excited to see those 150 dollars for uh trash but it'll be fun it's all fun i don't care if i win or not um probably not going to make the deadline but you know hey this is all fun i don't look at it as uh, a whole big competition you know otherwise i would never even bought 150 dollars worth of cheap subwoofers it just this is just fun for me you know so but uh this is how far i've made it you know, i plan on doing a lot more and this is just the just the ported part i still gotta make my vent this will be the vent will be is right in through here so i gotta pull my other subwoofer box out and find out the dimensions on that and uh cut this one out to be perfect the other one is just bonka i mean i i jigsawed it it just looks like hell uh, this one's going to be a whole lot better. I'll just get whatever measurements I got off of that, put it to this one, and build the port correctly. And I don't know how far down I want to go with it, because right now, um, I've just got one that's, the port is probably that tall without going down in it. I think it's about 10 inches or so. And it goes down just a little bit. And uh, to tell you the truth, man, it, it just, it doesn't really matter if that thing is in or out. It, that box is sort of wanky when it it comes to things but i'm getting a very clean anywhere from 45 hertz down to i'd have to say 30 i mean it just it hurts your throat so that's basically what i'm going to do with these and i will shit bricks if it actually sounds better than the three re's <laughs> you're thinking 15 subwoofers well it should well they're 150 dollar worth of subwoofers they're those SEs back in the day were what 550, 650 a pop, and uh, they're about 22 pounds each. These things here, are, I think, this paper weighs more than that. But uh, more on the subwoofers when they come in.